Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use DLSS 4 Upscaler in conjunction with FSR Frame Generation in 3 games The first Berserker Kazan, Robocop Rogue City and Atomic Heart This guide will work on any PC that has an RTX GPU I'll keep the gameplay short, stick to the tutorial We'll be testing these games on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU I'll kick things off with the first Berserker Kazan, released just a few days ago it's a single player action role playing game whose gameplay is similar to Soul Spawn games. Takes place in the Dungeon Fighter universe 800 years before the events from the first game in the series, Dungeon Fighter Online. Now, the game supports DLSS frame generation, so I'll just use Nukem 9's mod to replace it with FSR frame generation. The game is shipped with DLSS Upscaler version 3.7, so I'll just use the NVIDIA app to override the Upscaler to the latest version. Just need to set the model preset to K in order to activate DLSS Force Transformer model. In order to verify the upscaler's details like its version and model preset, I'll be using DLSS Debug Overlay. In order to activate the DLSS Debug Overlay, I'll be executing the registry code provided by Emus. Copy these lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as Overlay. Change its extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter, yes, right click open with notepad, paste the lines here, click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Right click open. Ok, we are done here. We will be using build 0.130 universal version of Nukem 9's mod. You can download it for free from Nexus Mods website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download. Now I will install the mod. Just open its archive file. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy the two dll files. dlss g 2 fsr 3 amd is better and version. Need to paste them in the games installed directory. Select the game in your Steam library. I am using the games demo. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open bbq folder. Open binaries folder. Win64 folder. Paste the files here. That's it, mod has been installed. Now you need to make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click anywhere on the desktop. Click on display settings. Then click on graphics. Click on advanced graphics settings. From here, just enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting. If your monitor supports VR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D settings. Click on Program settings. From this drop down bar, select Berserker Kazan. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. Apply the change. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on display here and check this setting, G-Sync compatible indicator. Now I'll override TLSS subscaler. Just open NVIDIA app, click on graphics, click on three dots here, click on refresh. This will load up all of the games installed on your PC. From the list, you need to select the first berserker. Scroll down to the end. Now you just need to access DLSS override model preset settings. Click on the pencil icon next to it. Select the second option use different settings for each DLSS technology. Click on the drop down bar below super resolution and select latest. That's it. Click on apply. Already done it. We are ready to run the game. First I'll run the game without frame generation. In game settings, full HD resolution, no FPS cap applied. Graphics preset set to max. Post processing set to low. Scroll down, disable motion blur. Make sure the game is running in DirectX 12 mode. It also supports DirectX 11 mode, but FSR won't work with it. DLSS on. I won't be using DLSS upscaler, we'll be using DLA anti lazing. Mod will work with DLSS. Upscaler as well, frame generation disable for the time being, reflex on. That's it, apply the settings. We are in, there's a character. 
check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Render preset used is K version of the upscaler 310.2.1. So NVIDIA app method of overriding DLSS upscaler work. Base resolution full HD upscale to full HD. DLA is working. Even DLSS auto explorer setting is on. Just engage in combat. Got stunned there. Yeah, FPS is close to 90. This game uses Unreal Engine 4. Can be a few HS here and there. Good performance even without frame generation. We are hitting the GPU bottleneck. VRAM usage is close to 5.3 GB. Okay, I need to drop down <laughs> safely. What happened there? I got stuck on that tree branch. Okay, now I'll enable frame generation. In game settings, DLSS frame generation on. Resume the game. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. FPS increased to around 150. This is amazing. The frame pacing graph does not look like a flat line. It's due to the recent changes in streamline framework. Does not affect the performance. Games hard elements are not flickering. But the DLSS debug overlay is flickering. It's expected. The overlay is not a part of the game's interface. After verifying the upscaler's details, just disable the overlay. I'll restore my health. There you go. I'm not safe here. Made to the ground safely in one piece. Not observing any artifacts around our character model. What the hell is this thing? Yeah, observed a few hitches here. Should have dodged that attack. In this game, we play as Kazan, the great general of the Pellos Empire, who overcame death and sets out to reveal the incidents that led to his downfall and seek vengeance on his enemies. Turn around it. Yeah, his attacks are slow. Oh my god, what was that? So the mod works very nicely in this game. Now I'll test the next one. Now I'll be installing Nukem Nice mod in Robocop Rogue City. Game supports DLSS frame generation. The mod will replace it with FSR frame generation. It's a first person shooter developed using Unreal Engine 5. The game features an original storyline based on the Robocop film series with Peter Weller reprising his role as the titular character. A standalone expansion titled Robocop Rogue City Unfinished Business is scheduled to be released in the third quarter of 2025. This game comes with TLSS Subscaler version 3.5.10. I was not able to override the upscaler via NVIDIA app. This is the game's profile in NVIDIA app. You can see DLSS override model preset setting is not accessible, unsupported. So I'll manually update the upscaler. Make sure VSync is enabled for the game from NVIDIA app or NVIDIA control panel. Just download the latest version of it from Tech Power Ops website. At the time of recording this video, it's 310.2.1. Click on download here. Now click on any of these servers, the download will start. Now I'll install Nukem 9's mod. Open its archive file. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy these two dll files. Open the game's install directory. It's the Steam version. Select the game in your library. Right click manage. Click on browse local files. Open game folder. Open binaries folder. Open win64 folder. Paste the files here. Oh, they are already present. Just delete them. Paste. That's it, mod has been installed. Now I'll manually update TLSS Subscaler. Open the Upscaler's archive file that you downloaded earlier. Copy this TLL file. Open the game's install directory. Open engine folder. Open plugins folder. Open runtime folder. NVIDIA folder. DLSS. Binaries. Third party. Win64. There's the DLSS Subscaler DLL file. Highlighted version 3.5.10. Replace it with the latest version. Check the version. Here's the latest one. We are ready to run the game. We are in. There's Robocop. His suit looks so shiny. 
show you the in game settings full hd resolution upscale is set to dlss using its quality preset this game is very heavy on the gpu reflex on frame generation disable for the time being nvidia using the high settings view distance set to far reflection metal lumen chromatic aberration motion blur disable high quality lumen reflections on load the city area first we are in i am in downtown i'll traverse the area on foot check out the water puddles on the road reflection quality in the dlss debug overlay i can see that render preset used is k version of the upscaler 310.2.1 base resolution 720p upscale to full hd resolution dlss auto exposure setting is on gorgeous looking visuals hey, fps is close to 60 few hs here and there nothing extreme Before entering the arcade, I'll just enable frame generation. This area is good for testing the game. Noticeable hitch there. Set NVIDIA frame generation to on. Back to the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 110. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. This is amazing. The frame pacing issue is completely gone now. Hard elements are not flickering. Ignore the flickering of DLSS debug overlay. Input delay is not a problem. Nvidia Reflex is working here. I'll enter the arcade, show you some combat. No ghosting produced around the floating papers. Cutscene. Everything is working properly. Subtitles are not flickering. I'll just skip the cutscene. I need to enter the basement. Illegal activities are being carried out. Here goes the guard. Robocop can even grab enemies, throw them around, start killing people, these punks, mostly high on drugs. The FPS dropped to now on 100, game is still running smoothly, look at the beautiful lighting in the background. So great results with the mod in this game. Highly recommend it from my side. Now I'll be testing the next one. Now I'll be testing Atomic Heart. It's a first person shooter set in an alternate history version of the Soviet Union during the 1950s. Initially depicted as a retro futuristic utopia, the game follows the collapse of the Soviet Union after a robot uprising. The game's third DLC was released just a few months ago. This game does support DLSS frame generation, but I was not able to get Nukem Knives mod working with it. Whenever I launched the game with the mod installed, it crashed at startup. So I'll just use OptiScale FSR frame generation. Download the latest nightly build of OptiScaler mod from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Just expand the assets section. Click on the dot 7z link. This is the build that I'll be using. Version 0.7.7, .7, preview 7, 20250330. Open OptiScaler's archive file. Copy the highlighted files, three of them. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open Atomic Heart folder, open binaries folder, open bin64 folder. Paste the mod files here. Change the name of optiscaler.dll to dxj.dll. Open optiscaler.ini file. From here, just set fg type to optifg. Set dx12 upscaler to dlss. Click on file, save. The game comes with dlss upscaler version 3.7. I'll override the upscaler via nvidia app. Open nvidia app. Click on graphics. From the games list, select atomic heart. Scroll down to the end. Need to access TLSS override model preset setting, click on the pencil icon next to it. Select the second option. Now click on the drop down bar below, super resolution and select latest. Click on apply. Enable VSync as well. We are ready to run the game. Make sure afterburner or RTSS is not running in the background. Otherwise, OptiScaler's HUD fix won't work properly. I'll just use NVIDIA's OLED to show you the performance metrics. This game uses Unreal Engine 4. Shaders will get compiled at startup in game settings 
डिस्प्ले मोड सेट टू फुल स्क्रीन एफ पी एस कैप फाइव हंड्रेड फुल एच डी रेजोल्यूशन आई रन द गेम ऑन अल्ट्रा सेटिंग्स डेप्थ ऑफ फील्ड डिसेबल मोशन ब्लर डिसेबल्ड एज वेल डी एल एस एस अब स्केल ऑन यूजिंग इट्स क्वालिटी प्रीसेट एंड वीडियो रिफ्लेक्स ऑन अल्ट्रा टू मैक्स सेटिंग्स रेट ट्रेसिंग ऑन एज वेल वी आर एन आई एम करेंटली इन शेलो में या हेयर एफ पी एस इज क्लोज टू सिक्सटी चेक आउट द डी एल एस एस टीबर गोल इन द बॉटम लेफ्ट कॉर्नर रेंडर प्रीसेट यूज डिस के वर्जन ऑफ द अप स्केलर थ्री वन जीरो पॉइंट टू पॉइंट वन बेस रेजोल्यूशन सेवन ट्वेंटी पी अप स्केल टू फुल एच डी रेजोल्यूशन डी एल एस एस ऑटो एक्सप्रेस सेटिंग इज ऑन सो यूजिंग एन मीडिया एप टू ओवर डी एल एस एस अप स्केलर वर्क इन द स्के एस एंगेज इन कॉम्बैट टेक आउट दीज टिन कैंस रोबोस वेरी हॉस्टाइल एफ पी एस टेस क्लोज टू सिक्सटी Getting the GPU bottleneck here. I'll just enable OptiScale FSR frame generation. Just open its menu by pressing the Insert keyboard key. There it is. OptiScale DLSS. Auto exposure and HDR settings enabled. Enable FG active setting. Hotfix setting on. Set the value to four. FG allow async setting on. Check the debug view. Save INI. Close. Resume the game. Displays are working properly for all of the images. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. FSR frame generation smoothing effect should work properly. Disable the debug view. Let's just play the game. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. FPS increased to around one hundred and ten. Just observe the gun's orange crosshair. Yeah, it's flickering. I was able to get Nukem 9's mod working on my ROG Ally that has an AMD-based GPU. Even Nukem 9's mod has this graphical artifact. DLSS debug overlay is also flickering. You can just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Impressive gains with OptiScale FSR frame generation in this game. I'll just engage in combat. Entirely up to you if you want to use the FSR frame generation mod or not, but it's highly recommended to use DLSS upscaler version four. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.